Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do all signs, Aries through Pisces. We're gonna see if your person's thinking about you. What is the sign? What is the repeating symbol that you're going to see to let you know, give you confirmation that they are actually thinking about you? Could be good thoughts, could be bad thoughts, could be a little bit of both. We're also gonna take a look and see if they're gonna take any action towards you. So. Keep in mind it is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Aries, we're gonna start with you first. I am using the Signs of the Time Oracle deck. So we're gonna see what is the sign or confirmation for Aries that the person they're thinking about is thinking about them. Okay, we've got the yin and the yang. So you could see this on a piece of jewelry, it could be a necklace, it could be a bracelet, it could be a pair of earrings. You will see this sign somewhere when you're out and about, maybe you see it at a storefront, you see somebody wearing it, maybe you see it on a backpack, but you will see the yin and yang symbol. And when you do see that symbol, maybe once, twice, or multiple times, you may question, why do I keep seeing that everywhere? Aries, it's because your person you're thinking about is thinking about you. So let's find out. The month of April could be significant or the number four could be significant. Let's see what actions they're going to take, if any, towards you. Aries person. Okay, so we do have the Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups, and Three of Cups. You know, right now they're not taking direct action towards you, but because they're stressed out. This is something that is making this person physically ill when they think about the situation that happened between the two of you. This person maybe was tempted by third party, other people. It could be romantic third parties. It could be um, temptations from vices. It could be a belief system. But this person is hoping in time that there'll be some type of achievement with the two of you being able to come together at some point. Right now, they're just kind of fantasizing about you, thinking about you. This could have been somebody you were in a long-term relationship. Maybe you have children with this person. But this person is thinking in time, they need to figure out how to balance the situation out. So right now, they're not taking direct action towards you, but they're hoping to in the future. Okay, Taurus. Your person you're thinking about, Taurus. What sign or synchronicity will you see as confirmation to let you know that this person is also thinking about you? Taurus, what is the sign or symbol that you're going to see to let you know that your person's thinking about you? Good, bad, or otherwise. If you want your own personalized and depth reading, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, so you're going to see one of these mirrored balls. Do you see that in the card? So you could see this, um, Not it's not a crystal ball, it's actually one of like a disco ball and the number 20 could be significant. You could be seeing the disco ball like on a shirt, on a book, you could see it on a billboard, you could see it multiple times and you could think to yourself, why do I keep seeing this mirrored ball? Why do I keep seeing this disco ball everywhere? That is confirmation to us that your person is thinking about you. So let's see what actions they're potentially going to take, if any, towards you. For Taurus, what are they thinking they are reflecting a lot about the situation between the two of you okay we've got the sun card you could be dealing with a leo we have the chariot they could have cancer in their chart and the king of pentacles right now taurus this person is thinking about as they're reflecting about the good times and the bad times they're thinking about how much more happy they were with you than without you so if you're in separation this person misses you immensely they want to travel to come see you if they live at a distance this is somebody who is wanting to make progress and they want to secure the spot with you they want to come in as somebody who's very stable and they're reflecting long and hard about if they walked away from you why they did it and what a big mistake it was if you walked away from them they're thinking about why you walked away, maybe they justify that you were justified to do that. But this person is coming towards you with the hopes of reconciliation and they're reflecting on exactly why, when they're going to do that. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. What is the sign or synchronicity symbol that Gemini is going to see to let them know as confirmation that their person is thinking about them, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent? What is the symbol? What is the sign? 
Okay, number seven is gonna be significant. So you can see a green feather, and it's not just a green feather. It actually has a little bit of discoloration on the tip of it. So you could be seeing a feather of some sort. This is communication that's pending. That means your person's thinking about sending you a message, Gemini. So let's find out if this person's actually going to take action and send you this message. The month of July could have been significant, could have been the last time you talked to them. Could have been seven days ago. You might hear from them in seven days. You may hear from them in seven hours from watching this video. There is definitely something with sevens. You could be seeing a lot of repeating sevens. So let's see, Gemini, what actions they're going to take. We've got the Five of Swords. The King of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. And the Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. Right now, this person is hurt over what has happened between the two of you. We do have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like they're trying to ground their energy and they're kind of getting into a safe zone of recovery of whatever happened. Now, with the feather, this is all about wanting to communicate. So they're ready to come back and have a conversation with you. This person is gonna take the lead, so they are going to reach out to you. You, you need to be patient because this person needs a little bit more time. They're not quite there yet. I'm hearing August 12th, so that could be potentially when they're going to reach out to you. Um, but this person is working on healing. They're balancing their energy. They're being practical. Then they're going to come towards you because they do want this communication. Okay, Cancer. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Cancer, what is the sign or synchronicity that you would see on repeat if your person's thinking about you, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent? What is the sign or symbol that Cancer will see? Okay, so you, number 25, so you could be 25, they could be 25, or 52 could be significant. February, May, or July could be relevant. And a cowrie shell, so that's what it looks like. You might find some of these, you may find a pile of them just randomly when you're on a hike or you're walking. Um, you may find that you had collected some at one point, you forgot about them, and you are maybe cleaning out your garage, or you're cleaning out like a storage area, and you find them like, I'm seeing like a little trinket box with a lid. So you may find them at that moment, that is going to give you the confirmation that your person is thinking about you. So let's find out, Cancer, are they gonna actually take action? Because there's something about this person wanting the situation to be prosperous between the two of you. They want it to elevate. So let's find out the person you're thinking about, the person in your heart and your mind, Cancer, are they going to take action towards you? Here they come, the Knight of Wands. So they are in an energy of feeling motivation. The energy is building momentum. The Moon and the Three of Wands. So they are definitely going to be proceeding to take action towards you. We also got the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody that feels like the two of you can work this out if there was a fight or a disruption, or maybe you used to work together and they didn't have the opportunity to um, ask you out in the past. Now they're, they have located you maybe on a social media platform or through a mutual coworker, and they're ready to work out. They are taking action towards you. It's more of in a lustful manner because they're feeling very drawn to you physically, but this person is feeling like you're everything they fantasize and they're living in this fantasy when it comes to you. They are coming towards you in the future here. I'm hearing three to six weeks. So you could potentially hear from them in the next couple weeks to a little over a month. But this person, they may live at a distance from you or they may just be distant, meaning you haven't spoken to them or you haven't seen them in quite some time. Um, but they want an opportunity to have a chance with you. They are physically attracted to you, so that's their intention is come towards you in a more lustful manner. Their intuition is guiding them that they need to head towards you. Leo. Leo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Leo, what is the sign or symbol or synchronicity that you would see repeatedly if your person's thinking about you, good, bad, or otherwise? What is the sign that Leo will see to give them confirmation this person they're thinking about is thinking about them? Leo. Okay, month of September, number nine could be significant. You could see a crystal. 
This is not just any crystal. This is actually going to be like a multicolored crystal where it's kind of looks iridescent-y, where it's kind of got like, the based on the way you look at it, based on the way the lights or the sun hits it, it looks at a different color. So you may find a crystal, Leo, at a store. Your friend may purchase a crystal and show it to you and you're gonna be very excited. You're gonna be like, wow, that is confirmation for me. So something with this crystal, maybe you see an advertisement about a crystal or purchasing a crystal like this. That's gonna give you confirmation that this person is thinking about you. So let's see if they're going to take action towards you, Leo. What is the action for Leo's person? King of Wands, they could be a fire sign. The High Priestess and the Judgment. Okay, so this person is gaining the knowledge and information about whether they want victory and success. It does look like this is somebody from your past, Leo, that you're thinking about, somebody that maybe you have significant history with. With that Six of Swords in reverse, this is somebody who's wanting to recover what they once lost. This person is thinking outside the box. They're thinking in different ways than what they did in the past. And for some reason, they've gained the knowledge and information about the way they acted, whether it was good or bad, that they needed to do, handle things differently. And now they're making a decision because their higher power, their intuition, their God, their universe is saying, you know what? You need to return to the past and make it right. You need to fix what you know needs to be taken back. So it does feel like this person is wanting to be able to have achievement and success and try to return to you. They could be a Libra. We do have fire and a little bit of air. All right, Virgo. Virgo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com and you have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Virgo, what is the sign or synchronicity that you will see to give you confirmation that the person you're thinking about is thinking about you, that the energy is being exchanged, whether it's good, bad, or otherwise? What is the symbol or synchronicity that Virgo will see? Okay, number 39 is relevant. So March, September, or even December could be significant. You could see water. Now, not just any water. You could see water like an ocean, like a huge mass of water, like on a picture. Maybe you're going to be by the water really soon. Maybe you're going on vacation and you're traveling somewhere that's very tropical. There's an abundance mask of water. And within that water, you're going to see images and images of potentially the numbers three, nine, or 12, or you may actually get kind of lost in the sea of the water looking at it, and you may see images of you and your person together. Maybe like this person actually picking up the phone and calling you. So you're gonna see a, a mass of water, and when you see that water, you're going to be in an energy of seeing something within that water, and it's gonna be some type of image. It's either gonna be a number, or it's going to be like um, their face or your face or like a phone or something. So that'll be your confirmation. Whether this is a picture, whether this is an actual mass of water that you physically go to, maybe you go to a waterfall and there's some type of imagery that you're going to get confirmation within that base of water. So let's see, um, Virgo, if this person's going to take action towards you. You could be 39 or they could be 39. The lovers. So it could be a Gemini you're dealing with. That one was fast. Nine of Swords. This person did something to deceive you and now they have regrets over backstabbing you. And we got the Six of Swords in reverse. So they are wanting to return. This is somebody who knows that the way they handled things wasn't right in the past. The way they dealt with the situation, they didn't use their integrity. They didn't listen to their intuition about what was the right thing to do. We do have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you could be married to this person. Maybe you're separated from this person. Um, there is a divide here because this person is, is stressed out over the choices and decisions from the past. There's something about them worrying. They try to return. Will you accept and embrace them to transition back into having a solid foundation again? They're willing to put in the work. They do love you. They see you as the person they want to spend their life with. There's some clearing of them surrendering this um, mask of energy from the past for them to be able to embrace to come towards you. But it does look like that's what they want. They want something solid here in the future. So that is your confirmation, Virgo. Libra. Libra, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Libra. 
What is the sign, the synchronicity? What is it that you're going to see as confirmation that your person is thinking about you? Good, bad, or indifferent. Libra, what is the confirmation of the sign or synchronicity? Libra will see to let them know that their person is thinking about them. Okay, you're going to see the infinity symbol. You could see it anywhere. You know, it's the sideways eight. So the infinity symbol is all about unlimited potential. So four, three, so 43, you could be 34 or 43, or your person could be. April, March, or July could also be significant. So you're going to see the infinity symbol, and not just any infinity symbol. It might be, actually be pink color. So keep that in mind. You're going to see it on repeat. So let's find out, Libra, is your person actually going to take action towards you, or are they just going to think about you? So for Libra, what's their person's actions? Okay, we got the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or thinking about an Aquarius. We've got the Nine of Cups. and We've got the Eight of Swords. This person wishes that they were in a position of pouring into the connection. They feel comfortable more by themselves than with you. This is somebody who has kind of bound themselves to their own thoughts, their own feelings, and... Because of that, they're restricting the access to be able to come towards you. They're not taking action. They still need to focus on their own individual healing. They could have healing that needs to happen from childhood or things that happen maybe in other relationships. They're still carrying some things with them that is a burden. They feel like there is unlimited potential with the two of you. Maybe there's unfinished business. They do see you as a wish fulfillment, but they are restricting themselves by their own belief system. So it doesn't look like they're taking action just yet. Scorpio. Scorpio, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Scorpio, what is the sign or synchronicity that you would see on repeat to let you know as confirmation, Scorpio, that your person is thinking about you? What is the sign or synchronicity that Scorpio will see as confirmation? Okay, the traffic cone. So this is number 32, so you could be 32 or 23, or your person could be. March, February, or May could be significant. You could see traffic cones all over. So maybe you are on the side streets and you're seeing traffic cones all the time. There's a construction zone that has a ton of these. Once you start seeing these traffic cones all over and you probably think, why are there so many traffic cones out and about today? That's confirmation, Scorpio, that your person is thinking about you. So let's find out, because they are proceeding with caution about coming towards you, are they going to take action? Because they are a little bit weary when it comes to coming towards you. What actions is Scorpio's person going to take? There's the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. Six of Pentacles. And Nine of Swords. So right now they're not taking action because they're stubborn. This is somebody who's very much in their masculine energy. They could have lied or deceived you and now they know that. That's why they're not coming towards you because they feel like if they come towards you that they're going to have to beg for your forgiveness and they don't want to have to do that. Their, their pride or their ego is blocking them from seeing that they need to humble themselves in the situation and they're not ready to be. They're in this energy of deceit, this energy of feeling like they got away with something, but however... They do have stress at the end of the day. So this front that they're putting on, this stubbornness they're putting on in front of everyone else is one way, but behind closed doors at late at night when they're by themselves, they feel the guilt. They feel the remorse. It's eating up at this person. And so they're not taking action because of that. That stubbornness is preventing them and blocking them from being able to come towards you. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Sagittarius, what is your sign or synchronicity? What's the symbol that you're going to see on repeat to give you confirmation that your person is thinking about you, good, bad, or otherwise? What is the sign or symbol for Sagittarius as confirmation? Okay, so we do have bees. So you could be seeing bees out and about. You could be seeing an actual bee like on a cup. You may see it on a coffee cup. You may see it on a billboard. You may see it on a shirt. You may see it on um, somebody's tailgate of their truck or their car. They have like a sticker of a bee. So something out and about in society, you're going to see this. So the number three and seven. So you could be 37. They could have been or you could have been born in 1973. 
uh, March, July, or October could be significant. So this person is busy, busy, busy thinking about you. They're caught up in their head, Sagittarius. So let's find out, are they going to take action towards you? So what action would they potentially take? For Sagittarius, is this person going to take action? If so, what is the action? Sagittarius. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. The Four of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. They're definitely taking action towards you, Sagittarius. This is somebody who... I'm hearing that song, reunited, and it feels so good. Okay, don't judge me. I can't sing. But Sagittarius, this is somebody who wants to reunite with you. You could be... Um, you could have been married to this person. You could have been in a, a long-term relationship. This could be a twin flame. This is somebody who wants another chance. They want another opportunity with you. So they're definitely going to reach out to you. When you start seeing this bee everywhere, whether it's an actual bee like buzzing around trying to sting you to give you confirmation that they're about to reach out or you're seeing bees everywhere. Like I said, there's something about the sticker on a tailgate of a truck that I keep seeing visually. So you could see that. You might see it like once or twice and think, what is with the bee sticker on the tailgate? Something is resonate with that. So that could be in the month of October, could be significant. Um, but this person is definitely taking action towards you. They want to be happy, 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 and they want a victory and success between the two of you exchanged. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Capricorn, what is the sign or synchronicity you will see as confirmation that your person is thinking about you, good, bad, or otherwise? What is the symbol or the confirmation that you would see? Flamingos. Okay, so you could see flamingos everywhere, whether it is flamingos like in somebody's yard, like the plastic flamingos. You could be seeing flamingos on um, a shirt. You could be seeing it on a business card. You could be seeing it for sale. And maybe it's the end of the season, summer clearance. You see a bunch of flamingos. Flamingos is going to be your confirmation. So the number two is also significant, which is the month of February. So this person is thinking about the fun times the two of you had exchanged, what you had shared. This person's birthday could be in the month of February. This could have been a lustful connection. We do have the Ace of Wands for their action and the Chariot. They might live at a distance from you, Capricorn, and Knight of Pentacles. They were very slow to commit, but it does feel like this person is building up their strength and courage to realize they want to have this new beginning. They are thinking creative about how they can actually reach out to you. They might even send you... Um, a postcard that has flamingos on it and you're going to get the, the postcard and think wow i've never seen a postcard like this it's really cool it's something with the flamingos you guys could have maybe had drinks that had little flamingos in it when the two of you maybe went on adventures or whatever but it does feel like this person wants a passionate new beginning they are coming towards you in a um fun playful energy they're very slow to commit so if you're expecting commitment maybe in time but for right now they're not in an energy of wanting to actually commit in a relationship, but they are wanting to commit to other activities with you. Aquarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website's TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Aquarius, what is the sign, the synchronicity that you will see on repeat to give you confirmation that your person is thinking about you, good, bad, or otherwise? What's the symbol that Aquarius is going to see? What's the sign? Okay, the peace symbol. And not just any peace symbol. It's going to be multicolored. It could be yellow, orange, and red, like, or red, white, and blue. There, it's a multicolor. It's not just one color. So the month of December can be significant, January or February. 12 days from now, the 12th of the month could be significant. This person is thinking about peace and harmony. So Aquarius, let's find out, is this person going to actually take some action towards you when it comes to the situation between the two of you? Aquarius, what is your person's actions they're going to take when it comes to the situation between the two of you? Okay, so we've got the Hermit. So you could be dealing with the Virgo. This is somebody who is going within thinking about it. We got the Two of Pentacles 
and we got the magician. This person is weighing their pros and cons and if they wanna change the situation or circumstance with the two of you, there has to be some type of exchange of them letting go. They have to make the choice to let something else go to be able to come towards you. It could be someone else. It could be a romantic temptation. It could be um, their job. It could be a belief system, but they are juggling trying to figure out what do they actually want to do because they know they have to make a choice here. And it could be juggling you with another person. But it does look like they desire you. You're the person who brings them peace. They want to have a peace offering of some sort. We do have the five of cups. So maybe you broke up with this person because they went towards a third party. They chose other people over you. It doesn't look like they're taking action directly, but they are trying to manifest this connection into reality. Pisces. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Pisces, what is the sign or synchronicity that you will see as confirmation that your person is thinking about you, good, bad, or otherwise? Pisces, what is the sign or synchronicity that you will see on repeat as confirmation this person is thinking about you? Okay, so we do have the palm. So, my cards fell here. So, you number 18 could be significant. The 18th of the month. January, August, or September could be significant. 18 days from now, you might see this synchronicity. The sign or the confirmation is this handprint. You might see it on a picture. You might see it on a magazine. You might see it in your third eye, the visualization of what your intuition is guiding you. But you're going to see these handprints. And you're think, why do I keep seeing handprints everywhere? What, why is it nagging me? It's going to kind of eat away at you of why. Kind of like when you get a song on repeat in your head, and you're like, why does it keep playing in my head? That's how you're gonna feel about this, this sign or synchronicity. It's destiny. It's letting you know, hey, I'm here. I'm letting you know, I'm still thinking about you. So let's find out, Pisces, what is this person's action, if any, towards you? What's Pisces person's action? Because they do feel like this is a fate or destined connection, that everything is aligning the way it needs to be. The Empress, okay. You might have children with this person or a child. Three of Cups. There could have been third-party interference here. There, there definitely was third-party interference. And the Fool. Pisces, this feels very specific. Um, also the star at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. It, don't take this unless it resonates. You could have been with this person. This person might have cheated on you and got someone else pregnant or had a baby with somebody else and now they realize they don't want that person. They needed to go through that situation and they wanna to come towards you. Or for others of you, if there was not an actual pregnancy involved, this person was giving and nurturing other connections and not nurturing the connection with you. And those were maybe karmic energies, karmic relationships to teach your person about recognizing the difference between pleasure and value. The pleasure of lustful energy and the value of being able to have pleasure and happiness in an emotional realm on the soul level. So this person, it looks like, did go through the trial and tribulation. And that's why this destiny is here with the handprint. Like, hey, letting you know, it's still here. It is still part of your path. There was a detour that your person needed to learn first. But it does look like they want this. They want to have a second chance. They want a new beginning. They're hopeful and optimistic. They're willing to pour into the connection. They're willing to heal things or they're hoping you're going to be able to feel that they want to heal things. They want victory and success with you.